Okay, so this is episode six of Cat's O-Gauge Layout. And the reason I'm showing this today is I want to show some of the new additions to the layout. As you can see, there is a caboose, it's a metal caboose, with a 556. It's got the lithograph on it, and they said it was a Marx, but anyhow, I bought that. And I'm displaying it in the town park. And then over this way, you can see that I put some mats down on top of the little hill that the log cabin sits on, did a little puttying, and I filled in the little bit so that the mountain blends in with the water there. And I puttied the bottom of the uh, creek slash river and the lake, which I'm calling Crystal Lake. Now, since this is the fantasy horror side of it, it's Camp Crystal Lakes Lake, you know, Friday the 13th, Jason. And I painted the mountain, as you can see, and I did some more work. I added another piece. This is the bottom of the mountain. This is removable, and the top of the mountain is going to be removable also. So it's going to be in two pieces when I get it all finished. And now I'm going to come over here and show you more stuff that I've done. And there's that caboose again. And yes, it's got a little dent on it, but that's okay. I didn't pay much for it. Anyhow, I got these three cars. The um, Baby Ruth, the brown caboose, and the black gondola. So we got those. And as you can see, there's the mountain again. Got that done and painted. There's going to be a church up here, but it's going to be up a little higher. And then there's going to be a cone that connects to a cone that's going to be on top up here. And then there's going to be a little pond and a lake, and there's going to be a castle. And the water is going to come out of that on the waterfall down to the other lake. And this is where the Wonka um, Chocolate Factory is going to be. And I'm gonna I'm gonna custom build those pieces the best I can, and maybe buy some windows and and doors and stuff like that. What I can't make, or I don't have the skill to make, I should say. As you can see, there's some animals on the way out, and the park's getting full of stuff. So, anyhow, that's where I'm at right now. So coming back over to the other side here. I'm going to show you, and of course, there's that tower house my friend made. And there's Bucky the Wonder Dog laying there next to the pillow. I added a new cord that runs over, runs up behind here, goes up here, and goes to one of those power strips like they use in a shop. And then I plugged my other one in over here. Um, because the other two power strips I use as on and offs for the transformer. The power strips there. I also took out the two by four that went from one end to the other, and I installed these ribs, and that's to support the board. And later, when I go to um, cut this in half, these boards it will be sawn right in between, and I'll have legs after I move the bed. So when I need to move it. I can actually move this in two pieces. Now, getting back over here, as you can see, there's the power strip that I got. And uh, it's much better, and it's got some used SB ports on it if I need to run something on the lad or charge something at night. A lot of little work here and there, and I'm waiting for this stuff to dry so I could paint it to match that part of the water. I'm not done. I'm not going to leave it just painted like that. Ultimately, it's going to have a few other things and some clear gloss over the top of it. All right, and then the lake's going to have water in it and coming out over here. Not real water, of course, but the plastic type water that they sell in the jar. All right, I guess that's going to be it today. Thank you and uh, enjoy model railroading. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. And I'm sorry for the darkness. I got a new phone, and I think I'm going to have to do most of my recording with the other phone because this is dark.
Oh, there it goes. I guess it's the angle I have it at that makes a big difference. So here we go. All right. Y'all have a good weekend. Bye.